Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome to my first MLB The Show 18 Home Run Derby Challenge video. It's going to be a series of short challenges where I put two players, as suggested by you guys, up against each other in a home run derby to see who can ultimately grab the double. And I think it'll be very interesting, the players that we could put up against each other potentially in this mini series. So hopefully, you guys, do enjoy. And if you do, drop a big thumbs up. If we can get a crazy amount of likes on today's video, I'll definitely continue it on the channel very, very soon. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. Also, hang in there, merch, top description box below. Every single dollar earned from the shirts going directly to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Closing in on 100 shirt sales, so go buy a shirt if you haven't already to support a great cause. And also, make sure to leave two players you'd like to see go up against each other in a home run derby in the comment section below. The ones with the most thumbs up will be the one I do in the very next home run derby challenge. But as you guys see, it's a pretty interesting challenge today. So as we all know, Otani, coming over from Japan, is one of the most hyped players maybe in MLB history. A lot of people are comparing him to Babe Ruth because Otani... He pitches and he hits. Was incredible at both in Japan. And now we're going to have to see how he transitions. Potentially from being one of the first players in a long gosh dang time to do both at the professional level in the United States. Obviously, he did sign with the Los Angeles Angels. So we shall see how he does in his rookie season in the MLB. But like I said, a lot of people are comparing him to Babe Ruth. Because that's what Babe Ruth used to do back in the day. He used to pitch and he used to hit. So can you do the gosh dang thing and do both in the MLB? We shall see. But today, we're going to be putting both players up against each other in a home run derby to see if Otani can actually compete with the player that most of the world considers as the GOAT, Babe Ruth. So to make this happen, I had to pull some strings. The roster creation in MLB The Show is kind of sketchy. But as you guys see, Otani is, in fact, an 86 overall in MLB The Show 18 as a starting pitcher. They do have him listed as a starting pitcher. But the problem is, when you go to edit him, you can't play with pitchers. You can't select them to use in a home run derby. And his primary position is set to starting pitcher, and you can't change it. So when you go to a home run derby, you can actually select Otani to use. So I had to create a separate player with the same exact stats as Otani and have him listed as like an outfielder, which is what he's going to play. If he ever does anything but DH in the MLB, that's where he's going to play in the outfield. So that's what we had to do. So unfortunately, not going to have his actual game face and everything in today's gameplay, but it's the only way we could actually go about today's home run derby. If you do want to go over his stats, it's not bad whatsoever. Obviously, it's not Babe Ruth-esque, but I'd be I'm willing to bet he has the best batting stats out of any player that's primary position is listed as a starting pitcher or a reliever or a closer in MLB The Show 18. He has 58 contact versus righties, 51 contact versus lefties. He has 99 potential, which that means he can improve dramatically. But his power versus righties, which is going to be massive in today's video, is 67. Definitely not Babe Ruth-esque, but not bad. Versus lefties is 61, bunning is 59, drag bunning is 21, and the rest of the stats. Well, plate vision is kind of important, 36, plate discipline 67, batting clutch 62, durability 64, and some other stats that really don't matter for today's home run derby. Like I said, what I did have to do is just go and create a player that does not have his game face, but has these same exact stats as his actual in-game player. But as you guys see, he's going to have some extremely tough competition against Babe Ruth. With these stats that he has in MLB The Show 18, which is actually the first year Babe Ruth has been officially in an MLB The Show game. He has 99 power versus righties versus lefties, 99 contact versus righties, 97 contact versus lefties. He has 84 plate vision. He's pretty good. Pretty gosh dang good. So, it's going to take an upset for Otani to get the win in today's video, but crazier things have happen. Like I said, when you are selecting players for a home run derby, pitchers don't show up unfortunately, which would still be funny to have some home run derbies with pitchers, but unfortunately unless they add pitchers into the selection pool, you can't use them in home run derbies, but I did create them, and he is going to be in today's video. Now, Babe Ruth, <laughs> I do have to say, I'm not going to lie, I went and did some home run derby practice last night, and I did Babe Ruth versus King Griffey Jr., and King Griffey Jr. won. Babe Ruth, I don't know what it was, he just didn't do well in a home run derby for me. Maybe because it's just I'm an idiot. I'm not going to count Otani out whatsoever. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below who you think is going to win today's home run derby challenge. Obviously, the smart choice here is Babe Ruth. 
but I'm telling you boys, it's probably going to be closer than what you think. And since Babe Ruth is going to be in today's video, we have to go and use the old Yankee Stadium. It just is what it's meant to be for today's video. We're going to be doing four minute rounds for each player. As you see, pretty different stats right there. Otani, zero home runs in his MLB career. Babe Ruth, 714. Babe Ruth is actually going to be going first. Four minute rounds. As you see, doesn't get a home run on the first attempt, but it is going to be four minute rounds as that is actually not going to get out either. So Babe Ruth not off to the greatest of starts. I'm going to tell you boys, I'm going to try to go as fast as I possibly can. Still no home runs versus, like, throughout three pitches. But with King Griffey Jr., man, I hit a home run every single pitch. Babe Ruth's first home run, 439 foot, not bad whatsoever. But with King Griffey Jr., man, I hit a home run every single pitch. And Babe Ruth, for some reason, I couldn't make it happen. Now that's an absolute bomb. His second, 465 feet. That's uh, going to be hard to beat for Otani. But once again, only two home runs thus far through a minute. Maybe I'm just pathetic at the game. I don't know. But Babe Ruth and King Griffey Jr. had a big difference between the two. So Babe Ruth, still only two. Otani might actually win this. I was thinking maybe it's just me not being great at moving the PCI. That's his third home run where it needs to be. But when I did it with King Griffey Jr., man, every single pitch was a home run. So it's not necessarily that. Maybe I can improve, but it's not just that. Now, that is going to be his fourth home run. So four home runs thus far halfway through. This is definitely going to be fifth. I think if we do hit, he gets a bonus of 30 seconds added on because he hit two home runs over 440 foot. So now we're actually getting the hang of things. He has six home runs thus far with a minute and 30 left to go, possibly two minutes if it that doesn't already have that 30 seconds added to it. But let's see if Babe Ruth can that... It's a little bit too high. Oh, I thought with the short porch in the right field, that could have been a home run, but still only six. Babe Ruth, now this one, that is a bomb. 448-foot upper deck shot. Let's see if we can get a 500-foot shot. That one's a little bit too high, but it got out. I think, <laughs> I'm not sure if Otani's going to be able to get 10. Maybe any other player that actually went opposite field. So Babe Ruth is going to get 10. Not going to lie, when I did this yesterday, I think I only got like... 476 foot bomb. We're closing in on 500 foot, but I think I only got like five or six with Babe Ruth. That's the center field, and that gets out there. So he is getting hot. He might actually end up getting 15 if we stay on this streak. That's going to go opposite field again. 441 foot. So I think Otani, I think he, uh, I don't think he's going to be able to beat Babe Ruth, but you never know. So Babe Ruth, can he get 13? That's another bomb. 416 foot. We do get the extra 30 seconds. Let's see if we can get 15. That's another bomb from Bray Brew. 413 foot. If it was an upper deck, that could have possibly been 500. This one, I think, is going to get out. No, it's not. Warning track power. So we need one more for 15 for Bay Ruth. I probably should have hit the opposite field, but that still might get out with the short porch. Actually goes upper deck. So Bay Ruth gets 15 home runs. Started off kind of slow. But as we progressed, he got a little bit better. But now it is time for Otani. Can Otani beat Babe Ruth? Not the, not the greatest start. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to go how we all predicted. But that's going to get out. That's upper deck shot, 440 foot. Oh my gosh. Otani hitting some bombs. Hitting, I didn't think he's going to get one, honestly. This one is another bomb, 402 foot. Okay, we have a game on our hands, Otani, 403 foot. Dude, this might actually happen. This might actually happen. Okay, got a little bit too much underneath that, but we need one more long shot to get that extra 30 seconds, which could prove to be vital. Now, this one is not going to get out, so I think he's actually ahead of Babe Ruth at this point in the video. So this one's going to be another bomb. We just have to focus on pulling him. 436 foot. We need another bomb, though, from Otani to get that extra 30 seconds. I actually, I would Otani the wings. That'd make it funny because it's Babe Ruth. 99 stats are across the board, pretty much. We have to get on a, some sort of a hot streak here. It needs to be 440 foot, 402 foot. We need to hit it like right center field so we can get that 440 foot because that short porch kind of screws us over. This one is barely going to get out. He's at six, man. He is at six. 
This one is going to be a foul. That was a bomb, but <laughs> went almost backwards. Halfway through, man. This one might get out. It's going to be a little short, so I don't know, man. It's going to be closer than what we thought, but I think Babe Ruth's going to ultimately get the win. This one is not going to get out either, so we need that extra 30 seconds, man. We need it big time. Okay, so <laughs> I think I think it's going to be not suspenseful at all. But it's better than what I thought. This one might get out opposite field. It does. 397 foot. I just want to get that extra 30 seconds. I want to get a big shot here from Otani. That's going to get out. 412 foot. We just got to hit it right center field for that extra 30 seconds. This one, opposite field shot, again, is going to hit the base of the wall. Come on, man. This one is going to go foul. Let's see if we can get 10. Let's see if we can get 10 with Otani. This one's a massive shot. But just that upper deck keeps screwing us over, man. This one is going to be another mammoth shot, but goes foul. Goes foul. At least we're going to get 10, I believe, with Otani. This one, a little bit too high. But it hits the foul pole. He needs five. We need one massive shot here. He needs to go 440 foot. 432 foot. Come on, MLB The Show. Give me an extra 13 seconds. This one is not going to get out. This is probably our last chance. The guy will actually pitch the gosh dang ball. This one straight center field and doesn't get out. So Otani put up a fight. The, the short right field with the upper deck ended up being his ultimate enemy. The way the field is constructed, the ball didn't really travel far. So I think some of those shots, if it was hit more to right center field, could have been 440 foot, which could have gave him an extra 30 seconds we could have gave him the win or at least a time maybe but Babe Ruth as we all probably predicted does get the win 476 foot was the longest home run and Otani put up a fight but Babe Ruth I mean a lot of people consider him the goat that's why it's the goat right there so hopefully you guys did enjoy today's home run derby challenge if you did make sure to drop a big thumbs up would mean a ton if we could smash a thousand likes on today's video let me know which two contestants you want to see go up next in a home run derby i was personally thinking like maybe uh tim tebow versus russell wilson or maybe king griffey jr versus king griffey senior but let me know in the comment section below the most thumbed up comment will be the one we do next and i will feature that comment in the next home run derby video with that said, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new, turn on the notification bell. If you haven't, hang in there in the top description box below. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.